Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm on FS22. Yeah, it is the next morning now. We have to take care of our tractors that we uh, used in the last, the last episode. As we plowed, cultivated, and seeded. Um, whatever number of field that was, uh, 59 is now canola. So we had to take care of that. They got dirty, they got used. So we're going to take them and uh, give them a little clean, little bath before we store the stuff away for the season since it's, you know, September already. Little spot was refusing to leave. All right, what kind of repairs do you need? We'll repair it. And this one definitely needs some repairs. There we go. Good to go. That's taken care of. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing all right. See, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. I was able to get on here and uh, boost our monetary stats for a short while and put in some production uh, places in the sale points and greenhouses and etc etc and we will go take tours of those places I was able to do that on this and Valley Spring. On this one, I was able to actually achieve what I wanted and have things be farther away uh, from the farm. In Valley Spring, the only flatlands were right next to the farm, which, I mean, it's not what I wanted, but it's also uh, kind of convenient, you know. It's just like right across the road. Uh, but on this one, there actually, it actually is quite a bit of ways to each and every one of them so this, there's a sail point area there's a greenhouse area and then there's a like a factory industrial area and just you know tune these up ever so nicely and we'll tuck them away And we'll go visit some of the oh, some of the areas. All right, we got. Uh, well, if you couldn't tell, uh, <laughs> down here is one of them. <laughs> uh, one. Uh, this is the cell point. And then this is, uh, this is the industrial area. And this is greenhouses. So let's go down to the bottom right. So in order to get here, we'd have to come out of the farm, take a left as if we were going to our field, come down to the T, take a right, come all the way down here, and then come here. So this... is our industrial area of uh, factories and such. So we've got the straw place that turns straw and water into like baskets and handbags. We've got biodiesel that takes, uh, I forget what it takes, sunflower, canola, and soybean, and it turns into fuel. Then I added, it. there's a couple of vanilla things in here too, like a tailor shop, a spinnery, uh, this is a firewood, and there's the oil refinery where you bring the raw oil. This is, makes lime out of stone and water. This one makes oils out of 
like canola and stuff. Uh, sunflower oil, canola oil, and olive oil. So that makes oils. We got, we just got a shed over here uh, for equipment that we'll be keeping here. If we decide to keep equipment here, I don't know. I was kind of thinking, you know, leaving myself open for future stuff. Here's where the coffee roaster. This is the apple thingy majigger that turns apples into like apple stuff, apple jelly and butter and stuff. Uh, dairy. We've got a dairy here. And then oil production, which I need to activate. Because that just needs wind. That's all it needs. <laughs> all right. And then everything else, yeah. So that's, this is our industrial area. This is where we come and drop off a lot of our goods. All right, and then we'll head up to the greenhouses, which are up here in town, kind of by the town greenhouses. I think just just up over the way there is a greenhouse. It was over there, I can't remember. So coming here, we've got the maple farm. Um, and then we got apple trees, prickly pear cactus, uh greenhouse. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the uh, the tree greenhouse. So you get like three different types of tree seeds, see, saplings out of here, which you sell at a tree thing in the sale point. We'll show you later. Uh, here's the coffee beans and hydroponics. Yeah. So that's that. I don't even know if I put the wood one down. I don't think I put the wood one down. Oh well. And then up here. Where's the entrance? Entrance is over here. Yeah. We have sell points. So this sells this, this buys pretty much everything. Uh that's where you buy corgi coffee. That's where you sell your coffee. Just notice that. <laughs> that's where you sell your coffee. I think this is of an end game. Vanilla thing. I remember what that is now. Cell point of some form. Yeah, because this one and that one are vanilla, I think. This is a supermarket that buys just stuff. Um, This is... Something that buys... Everything. This is like the farmer's market as well. Yeah, so I just that just buys like all kinds of stuff, including oil products. And then we got is uh, the firewood sell point. There's the tree saplings that were growing in that greenhouse. That's that sell point. Maple syrup sell point and prickly pear, and then the straw products. This is the only one that just points me is the straw products. Like they 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 made their factory look like a cool shop and then their cell point is just this grate in the ground like hey man that's good yeah. does not bode well with the aesthetics you know even just making a tent like this we're kind of loud let me put like a tent line up but that's what we got so far i have you know a production thing just to offset the the daily costs of all these items that are placed down because they're not you know tactically mine but they're on the map so we have stuff to do um so yeah that is that and i managed to repaint the uh little drive over here it disappeared when we had our kerfuffle with uh farm sim not starting so i just kind of painted it back up a little bit over here. I didn't manage to get inside. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we got that stuff now. We got to deal with this field. 
This needs to be stoned. Picked. Stone picked. All right. My John Deere barrels around and I didn't put them down. I'm just noticing them now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we did, we took care of this one. I think we might have to fertilize it once more. Uh, yeah. But it needs rolling. Remember that, we definitely need to fertilize it again. Definitely need to fertilize it one more time, but that's... That's something we can do. We've got a tiny little fertilizer here. Tap it up. We'll see how well this... <laughs> see how well this little thing performs. Let's try to use it to pull a water tank around on Belly Spring and it just was a little underpowered for that. But I know it's got to be a useful little tool. Like, I know it would be good animal feeder. Because you could like top them off. Like it might take forever to like start them. But once you get like a massive, you know, you've filled them up. Uh, then this would be a good like daily topper offer. Oh wow, it's already growing. I don't want to destroy the crop. It's not, it's not gonna. <laughs> Okay. What's the spread on this? Oh, is it not going to let me because it's not attached to a tractor? Which, you know, is all right with me. We can go ahead and get a tractor. Joker wants to race. He's going to win. Oh, let me get wound up into top gear. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab that little red one. A little red massy. I don't foresee a lot of use for it in the near future. No. So I shut the engine off, right? There we go. We'll try this little guy. And if not, then I don't know what the problem is with that fur spreader. Is it fur? Well, even if it's not fur and it's lime, it would still spread or try to spread, right? Maybe it's just thinking there's a PTO needed. attention to when my mic is muted so we got a hired worker and it spreads but it wouldn't turn on for me I'm curious what the deal is with that we're just Cruising on to the next field, apparently. We're just we're just going to uh, fertilize somebody else's land. Oh, it just, it starts automatically when you start driving. Wait, so does this mean I can just, like, full speed spread? Like, I could just, like, bonsai this whole thing. Just, yee-haw! I mean, it's using the fertilizer. It just, it just, it's powered by the wheels, like the cedar. Gotcha. So I could just, like, 
bomb this field. And just be good about it. Right? That's kind of cool. I can't even tell where my fertilizer lines are because the green coverage is so dense. But we'll at least do, you know, somewhat kind of a spread. Nice. Okay, so it doesn't have to turn on. It just goes by, by the wheel power. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And that's why we got to fold it up. Because that's what folding it does. It's lifting that door to let it... Ah, clever. Clever game. A clever mod. Nice. All right. That, that worked out really nicely, surprisingly. So that little John Deere could have done it. I just didn't understand how it worked. We still got to seed that field too. Ugh. I want to get a bigger seeder when we do that. I wonder what kind of contracts we can get. Make some money with contracts would be pretty good. Why are they not bailing? I'm just going to go ahead and Utilize all this space because we're not using it right now. Ooh, ooh, super zoom. All right. Uh, we got a plowing one or a plowing one. When it, I see a $10,000 contract, I know that's going to be just an absolute headache nightmare taking 18 bajillion years. So we've got this, what, one, two, three, four, six, seven furrow header, or seven furrow plow on field seven. Let's just take a look at field seven. How massive is it? There's field seven. There's a field we just did. <laughs> There's field seven. That's going to take ages with that little plow. That's why it's $10,000 a pop. Same exact equipment. For field five. Field five right there. That's not as bad, but that would still take a long time. Although we've got a plow and a tractor that can handle the plow, so we wouldn't have to rent it. Oh, you know what? Let's take five. That's six thousand dollars we could use. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab Johnny D. Mr. Jonah D, burr, burr, burr. and uh, we'll hook her up to that plow, and we will go take care of that field with our own equipment. And don't forget, we got that white field boss there too. But Johnny seems to have no problem with this plow. Uh, all right, now where exactly was that <laughs> field? <laughs> We're supposed to be taken care of five up here. Okay, so we go like we're going to the shop. But when we get into town, we take a left. Gotcha. That's what we do. All right, and here it is. Here it be. Might as well get a move on. What? I, I accepted that contract, right? We saw that. 
right? We saw me accept the contract for Field 5. Um, and then it just poofed. All right, well, let's take one for Field 7 then. And then it disappears. Right? And it's not even blinking on 7. So we don't get the money. It just says we accept the contract and then nothing. Well, ain't that a pooper? So contracts are broken on this map. Well, there you go. If you're planning on playing the Valley of the Old Farm map, on uh, at least this version of it, contracts do not function. Good to know. Good thing we got plenty of other things to be doing. Granted, I would like to have more money to be doing them with, but it is, as they say, what it is. Yeah, see this, this right here, I didn't build this. This was part of the map, this greenhouse section. So this is like, uh, I don't know what this is. There's a couple greenhouses here. There's a greenhouse here. And some sheds and stuff. So if you buy this, where are we? Right? If you buy this, you get this whole area. So you get that little field too. So you get this little field of, what is it, grass? There's this field of grass. There's a little placeable area right there too. And then some greenhouses. What's that go for? It goes for 85k. You know what? That wouldn't be a bad investment. Let me get that kind of money. I can get a couple green, no, a couple, one, two, three greenhouses, a field. Wouldn't be too bad. All right, back home we go, I guess. All righty, and we're back home from a long days of not work. <laughs> All right, oh well. I guess that's uh, good to know. Contracts don't work on this map. Still not going to diminish this map's value in my eyes because I absolutely love it. The amount of hours I've spent on this over the different variations of it are just crazy. Manually stacking everything up there with a the little skid steer. All right, what are we doing now? Do we have any crop? Or we're, we're going to wait and save, apparently. Okay, are we done? Okay, good. Uh, we have wheat. So we could buy chickens. Get some chickens rolling, right? <laughs> chickens just need stuff. We've got enough. Uh, we should, huh? I didn't even check to make sure the hay bales stayed. They did not. Grass bales. Are they grass bales or hay bales? Did we tent those? I can't remember if we tented those. Oh well. Well, we don't have any bales. <laughs> um... How is the silage doing? 44%. Okay. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We can't do contracts. I don't know what's going on with Hen over here. <laughs> Abstract art. <laughs> Uh, we put lime on 62. 
the 1860, 59. Do we get any trees we could chop down? Because <laughs> we kind of we kind of need the money. I mean, like, there's this guy right here. Well, this guy right here, right? I haven't even bought a chainsaw yet. That just goes to show you. What are we buying? Husqvarna? Why not? Well, let's just go with that one for some reason. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's chop this down. I hate chopping non-straight trees. Ugh. We'll chop this down and we'll chunk it up into what we can. With an extra long cut. This cuts through like all kinds of stuff. Here we go. Yeehaw! this over all right we're back all right well there's a reason i really dislike branched trees and now there's one there's something stuck in the ground here is an invisible branch uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and peruse the yellow pages for a wood chipper of sorts but Rather than end this episode on a low note of a tree that's glitching, let's get us some chickens. We don't have a whole lot of money. We got 14. So we can at least get some chickens. We can get adults. Have them start producing right away. We get 22. And maybe a rooster. We don't need 22 roosters. Just just one. This one's fine. No, we don't need 60 either. All right. Now we got some chickens. Where did I put? Oh, yeah, right over there. <laughs> I was like, I know I got that little Johnny somewhere. Let's go ahead and use this. I think they could take wheat, right? They take a cereal crop. If I'm not mistaken. A grain of some sort. Lettuce. Lettuce. No, you, you ain't gonna get lettuce, rabbits. See, this is where the thing comes into its own. Whoa. You know, all kinds of huffy. Settle down. Settle, settle. I don't know what happened. Man, you are mad about something. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dump some of this wheat in there. How much do they want? A lot.
But at least it's, it, it gives us something to do, you know? Uh oh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Go back to the silo and I'm way over here. So we need some corn, so maybe we'll buy a bag of chicken feed. We might do that. Might buy a bag of chicken feed. Just to, to make them happy, but for now, I mean they got they got wheat. Right? And they just need wheat, corn, and lettuce, which is weird. Lettuce. Can we do one more trailer load? And then call the episode. Man, I've been rhyming a lot lately. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it reminds me of that, that uh, bit in Eight Crazy Nights. When uh, the old guy's rhyming all this stuff in the mall. And he's like, <laughs> I'm sad the character. He's like, did you rhyme that much on purpose? Or are you really an elf? <laughs> uh, sometimes I feel like that you know things just rhyme alright well at least we got grain that should get them producting 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 okay I'm 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 rephrasing English words now, apparently. It should get them producting. <laughs> I like this little thing for doing the just this. Just topping off animals. Yeah, no, go ahead and lay right in the middle of these these roads. Did you put a gate on that there, my friend, sir? To keep them inside their yard? You have a yard right there. Stay in there. <laughs> All right. We're at least good on the green. Oh, there. Now we've got some, you know, some life around the farm. Next will be, uh, we'll get some, we're kind of getting some sheep. We lost our grass bales. I don't know if that was because they were grass and they decomposed. Because I remember when Seasons was a mod and not part of the game. Grass would decompose. But I also... Okay, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if the game's just bugged or what. But, uh, we're not... We're not being allowed in the sheep barn. So that'll be another thing. Yahoo! All the fun joys we're having with this game. <laughs> we'll just get around it. But either way, uh, yeah, so we'll work on the sheep maybe next. And we'll figure out what to do with the, the fields. What can we grow? Where we're sitting now, we can do wheat, barley, or canola. Wheat, barley, or canola. We could do... No, in all honesty, we could do wheat because then we could use the straw as the straw production. So let's plan on that. Let's plan on putting in wheat um, in both fields. Uh, this way when... Well, see the harvest time for wheat, though, is in July. So we got to wait all the way till July. Might as well, though, because we need the straw. We need the straw. So we'll do that. We'll put wheat in the fields. Well, this field. Oh, that field's already canola. That field's money. This field's product. <laughs> we need to rock it as well. So we need a stone picker. Probably at least one, because we don't, don't need to actually have it permanently 
What is like this? Because this is a small field we got. It would be like 1200 bucks. We could afford that. So we could lease that, rock this field up, plant wheat here, and then we should be good. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know, you can always leave a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Subscribe if you like what you're watching and, uh, you know, hit that bell if you want to be notified. And as always, I hope you have a magnificently awesome day. And we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye for now.